Welcome everyone. We very much appreciate you taking an hour out of your pre-conference sessions to join us. And what we're going to do today is show you Club Express for Local Leagues. We'll explain what Club Express is and the partnership with the League of Women Voters that we've established. And then, you know, give you a flavor for the product and how it can help your local league. This is a repeat of a session that we did yesterday. And then tonight we'll be doing a repeat of the other session we did yesterday which is Club Express for state level organizations. A lot of that's very similar to this presentation, but there'll be some parts that are a little bit different. So I wanted to do some housekeeping things. First of all, all the phones should be muted. And if you have questions, please enter them into the chat window. And we have a number of uh, Club Express folks that are on the call as well. Alan, he's our chief evangelist and he's handling all the technical aspects behind the scenes. Alan also does um, many of our video tutorials and webinars, also manages our online communities, discussion forums and things like that. Also on the call, we have Samantha and she'll be monitoring the chat window. Samantha is our director of content and also puts together the online help system. She does a lot of our training, works on our social networking campaigns as well. And then also Jim Mishke is on the call. Jim is our account manager who handles the League of Women Voters account. So if any of you have questions afterwards or want to see a more detailed demo, Jim is the best person to talk to. The webinar will be recorded and then it'll be available within 48 hours on the Club Express Cool Stuff page. If you go to the clubexpress.com, it'll also be available on our YouTube channel, clubexpress.com spelled out. And we'll also make it available to the League of Women Voters so it'll be available on the, the convention website as well. So I wanted to give everybody a little bit of background very quickly on Club Express. I'm Dan Ehrman, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Club Express. The company was founded in August of 2003, and we went live in March of 2004 with version 1.0. We're currently on our 58th major release. And of course, we're working on the, on the next release. We've got the development team hard at work and we're expecting to announce and release that in the next three to four weeks. The product at this point is proven, secure, it's reliable, it's high performing. And there are thousands of clubs and associations in the US and also around the world, in Canada, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, for example. And we're based in the Chicago suburbs. So think of Club Express as the complete front office and back office for your local league. And so we start out with a website and we give you all of the tools necessary to build out and maintain the website, both an area for the public, and you can see that in green on the diagram on the right, an area for members only. Every member has their own username and password and they can log in. And then an area for admins and coordinators to manage the website, the database, to manage money, communications, and we'll talk about all of that in just a moment. Club Express is a complete association management software platform, what's known as an AMS. So Club Express will give you your membership database and a non-member database to keep track of all of your other contacts. We'll give you the event calendar with online registration and credit card processing and the ability to do blast email campaigns. And it all integrates together with various other modules in the system. So we have an interests module which I can show you in a moment. And that integrates with blast emailings and with the event calendar. You know, it all integrates together. Club Express is specifically designed for local leagues and for state organizations. Question was, what is the relationship and how is this gonna connect with the national database? And we'll definitely talk about that. The national office is gonna to continue to use Salesforce, but we are connecting to Salesforce so that we can share the data, you know, the basic contact information for your members from the local league up to the state organization, and then also up to the national office, to the Salesforce database. So everything will be tightly integrated, and I'll show you in a few moments how that all comes together. So we start out with the public website, and we give you all of the tools necessary to build and maintain that website so that it follows and reinforces the league's brand. We give you the tools to create the homepage, any number of custom web pages where you talk about the different programs, areas that the league advocates for, and photo albums as well. So let's jump over. We have a fake league website that we created here. 
And just to make clear, it says demo, not a real local league. And this is the homepage, for example. And of course, it has a standard look and feel. But it, again, it can be customized. It can certainly you know, look different. There's a nice slideshow on the homepage. There's an upcoming events widget. Uh, here's a widget that shows your Twitter feed if your local league has one. You know, it's very easy to customize the menu. And so, for example, we can go to an elections page. And this is a page that we borrowed from another league website just to put on this page. And, you know, you can see all kinds of formatting and links, logos and photos, things like that. We can also, uh, you know, show you another page here. And you can have as many of these pages as you want. You can also have photo albums. So in this case, we have a photo album and we borrowed this from our good friends at, in Colorado. And so the photo album pops up and then after a few seconds, it goes into slideshow mode. And with Club Express, you can upload as many photos as you want and organize those very easy into albums. And there's no programming required for any of this. The platform includes more than 22 modules and they're all included. We do have some modules that cost a little bit extra, but the 22 of them are all included. So the event calendar with online registration and payment for events, it's powerful enough to run a lunchtime or an evening lecture, but you can also run a two day state level convention if that's what you needed to do. A committees module, um, document library, donations, discussion forums, surveys, member interests, all of those are built into the platform. You enable them, you configure them, and you just use them. And they can be made available to members and non-members. So if you want to collect donations from non-members, the platform absolutely supports that. Members can sign up and renew their memberships online. I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, they can add themselves to the mailing list if they're interested in your local league. We fully integrate with Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. And of course, everything is done in secure mode. And we'll talk about security in a bit more detail. So to give you an idea about some of these modules, we put some of them on a menu here. So here, for example, is an interests module. And so you can see a number of different interests here and I can jump over. Actually, that's configured for members only. So we can only see who's in the interest groups when we log in and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. Let's look at the event calendar. So there's a grid here and there's a, a dummy event that we created. It jumps over to the event and you can have a fully formatted, very nice looking description with a photo of your guest speaker. You can have multi-activity events with you know, side activities and spouse activities, things like that. Different fees for different classes of members and non-members, all of that's fully supported. And of course, people can, can register for the event online. Um, a very powerful document library module where you can create as many folders and subfolders as you need. In this case, we only have one folder. And when I click it, we see the documents that are in that folder and I can click on a document and I can see the details about that document. And then of course I can download it as well. And I'll show you again how, how all of this works uh, in just a moment. Now, every member has their own username and password. And when they log in, they come to the second part of the platform, which is the area that's for members. And it has its own modules, its own pages, its own navigation. You, you can configure both the public side of your website and the member side of your website exactly the way you want them to be. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click member login and I'm going to log in as B Williams. And there's the password and I'm logged in now and you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, it now says Betty Williams. And so the system knows, that I'm logged in as a regular member. And one of the things that members can do is update their own profile information. So I can go to my profile as Betty Williams and I see this profile screen. And by the way, we're actually about to redesign this profile screen, update the look and feel. So for example, I can go to my contact information and as Betty, I can update all of the information myself. And the, the important point is that if the state is also running on Club Express, it's immediately available to the state, any changes, but also overnight, it'll be updated in the national database as well. So, you know, when somebody joins, 
you no longer need, if you're a, a local league officer, you no longer need to update that information in three separate places. Hub Express will handle all of that for you. So here's the basic contact information. You can have up to two addresses. And of course, everything is, is time zone sensitive. If you don't want the secondary address, you can just turn it off. Here's the other contact information. Here's a, a work information panel. If you don't want that, you can turn that off as well. Now, every local league and basically every organization running on Club Express has questions that they want to ask of their members that go beyond the basic contact information. And we fully support that using a feature called additional member data. You can create as many questions as you need, and the answers can be in about 25 different formats. So in this case, we have two questions. What is your ethnicity? And it's an optional question. You can make it required if you want. And this is a, what we call a select list. You define the options that you want to see. And, and there it is. How many years have you lived in the community? And this is an integer question uh, defined as anywhere between one and let's say 80. So members can enter that information. Now I should mention that these additional data questions are not shared with the national office. The only thing that will be shared with the league uh, national database is the basic contact information for members. Now we also have the option to update the member directory. Members can control their visibility in the directory. They can enter a personal bio. And here, for example, is where a member would upload a photo. We don't have a photo in this case for Betty, but we do have for a couple of other members. In fact, let me log out as Betty. And I'm going to log in as a different user. In this case, I've logged in as Martha Smith. Now, Martha happens to be an administrator. So suddenly she gets a couple of other options here that we didn't see for Betty. But when I go to Martha's profile and look at her directory, I can see you know, that we have a, a short bio here and that Martha's also uploaded a photo. Now, when we move down to financial and historical data, the system maintains complete histories of every transaction and payment that members make, event registration history, donation history, all of that's built in. If I click on transaction history, I see a couple of transactions for Martha. I can click on this icon here and I can print my own receipts. So if members need receipts, you don't have to worry about doing those with a league volunteer or an office. They can all be done by the members themselves. And over here is where members can update their username and password. They can register for interest groups. So for example, Martha might be interested in redistricting and healthcare reform. So she's registered and immigration rights. So she's registered for those interest groups. She can turn them on or off as necessary. And I'll show you how that works in just a moment. So as we can see here, members log in, they get their profile, they can update their information, the lead questions, directory and visibility, and their, or the histories that they have within the system. Now, before we get to the admin area, let's have a quick look at some of these modules and give you a sense of how they work. So the interests module is actually quite a good one. We have these interest groups here, and I could go to voter registration as Martha, and it shows me who's in that interest group. I can sign myself up, and there I am. I can remove myself, and now I'm gone for that one or I can do it through the profile screen that I showed you earlier. Now, every one of these modules has a user side, which we're looking at right now, and it could be members or, or even the public. For example, I could go to the donations module and put that on the public side of the website. And when I do, as I said, you can collect donations from non-members. So here we create multiple funds and you can have you know, different funds. And when I click on the donate link, it takes me to a screen that allows me to collect the details of the donation. I can make the donation in honor of or in gratitude to. Do you want it reported as anonymous? Do you want your name to appear? Do you want to notify someone about the donation? And then various other options that are also available, like a whole matching gifts section to collect information about someone's employer. All of that's built in as well. 
And once you fill in the details, the user would click proceed to payment and we'd go to the payment page and then they could pay online by credit card. They could print an invoice and mail in a check. You can configure PayPal as well, if that's what you want. Now the idea with these modules is again, they have a user side, but they also have an admin side. And one of the ways to get to the admin side, because Martha is an administrator, I can click edit. And so here I, I come to one of the standard Club Express admin screens. There are buttons across the top. There's a grid. There's a maintain column here. So if I click add fund, maybe I would have something like the voter registration fund, and then I could specify a purpose. And you can see a whole detailed list of options that you can configure for each fund that allow you to, to have the fund behave exactly the way you want it to. Should it be available to members only? Is there a recommended donation? Is there a goal that you want to show? Could the fund be in operation already and so you already have an external amount that you've received? So all of that information is configurable. I can also, for example, click on this second icon here and it would take me to the details of who's made donations to this fund. Now, in this case, we only have one donation from Martha. It was $25 and it's been paid in full. But you might have hundreds of donations, which is why we have this search panel and why we potentially have pages. Look at 30 donations at once and then move to the next page. And so every one of these modules has these admin screens. There's no programming involved. You enable the module, you configure it, and you just use it. It also has its own set of reports. So here we can see about 15 different reports that are appropriate for the donations module. Okay, back to our slideshow. So the admin area is available to anyone who's configured as an administrator or a coordinator, which is like an admin, but they have fewer rights. And you can customize those very closely. The administrator control panel has five major areas, which contain all of the admin and setup functions. It's also the way you access many of the reports and exports in the system. Club Express has more than 400 reports built in and more than 50 data exports and also our support resources. So let's have a look at that. Again, Martha is an administrator, and so she sees the control panel. When I click on control panel, I can see the five tabs I mentioned earlier, people, website, etc., and then the support tab, and we'll look at that in a moment. Now, these admin functions are things that you do on a regular basis, and these are admin screens only. So member manager is the membership database for the organization, and non-member database is that non-member database I mentioned and I'll show you those in just a moment. Some of these modules that I mentioned, committees, interests, forums, donations, these are all modules that relate to people. People belong to committees, they have interests, they participate in forums. This is the admin side of the module and this is the user side of the module. Here are the reports related to members and non-members. And then here's all the setup functions and we'll look at a couple of these in just a moment, but the, the setup functions allow you to create the member types that you want and configure some of these other settings. When I go to the website tab, you'll see it has the same layout, but it has functions related to the website. So here's where you customize the home page, custom web pages, upload as many photos as you want and create photo albums, reports related to the website, and all of the setup functions related to the website as well. The money tab is where you manage transactions and payments and bank accounts. Here are some of the modules that relate to money like donations and storefront and events. League is the same thing for the organization as a whole. And communications, this is where you'll find our blast emailing function and blogs and forums and surveys and ad hoc forms that you can create for members to fill in. Now the support tab shows all of the support resources that we provide. And the first one is our online help system. When you see this icon up in the top right hand corner here and click the icon, 
it'll take you to the online help system. And I mentioned earlier that Samantha is the one who's responsible for that. So the online help system is fully indexed and cross-referenced. You can search, you can look at specific topics here. So for example, I can expand the people tab and I can see all of the topics related to the people tab, which we were looking at just a moment ago. I could click on member manager and expand on a topic here. I can click on photos and see the details of what I'm looking at. Uh, we also have about 50 manuals where we've taken these help topics like the people tab and made that into a manual that you can download. And there are video tutorials and webinars on all of these topics. And if you click here on watch videos, it'll take you to our YouTube channel where you'll see the videos specifically related to this topic. Now the manuals are also available on the help tab. So here's all the manuals that you can download. And here are the video tutorials that you can look at as well. And again, we jump you over to YouTube to watch those on the clubexpress.com channel. And right down at the bottom, here is our contact information. And one of the things I should mention right up front is that when you sign up for Club Express and when you use Club Express, the fees that you pay us include unlimited toll-free support for admins and members. So if a member has a problem logging in, renewing their membership, registering for an event, changing their password, making a payment, they can call our support team in Chicago and we will help you. And that's included. So let's start with databases. Club Express includes a built-in membership database for your local league. And we looked at the basic contact info, the league specific questions and all the histories. It also includes a non-member mailing list where you keep all of the information on everyone you, you wanna stay in contact with who's not a member. So it could be donors, could be people who attended events, interested persons, but it could also be the local organizers for the Democratic Party and the Republican Party and the county and city people who are responsible for voting and the press. All of those people can go into the non-member database and you can categorize them. Uh, we have some built-in system categories, but we also have league specific categories that I'll show you. And you organize those people exactly the way you want to. And so when you want to send out a blast email to everybody in the press category, it's just trivial. You select that category and we will pick up all of the members and non-members who've been assigned to that category. So when I go to the control panel and click on the member manager, and then I'll click on the search button, here is the membership database for this organization. Now we have a number of different search options. And then when we come down to the actual database, you can see the member name, you can see their location and click the location, you'll get all of their contact information. Over in the second column, you see the member type and their status. An active member is someone who's paid up. An expired member is someone who hasn't renewed their membership. And the level as well. Club Express fully supports household memberships that include a primary contact person, but also additional people in the household. And their expiration date. And then here is how you get access to edit the information on that member or assign them to a category or view their bio screen. We also have a very powerful contact log function where you can keep track of all of your contacts with members and non-members as well. Sarah Jones is someone who owes money. So here is a dollar sign icon. And if we click that, we come to the payment page. And as an administrator, I can see a number of different payment options. In this case, credit cards are not configured for this demo website. A regular member who comes to the payment page might only see two or three options. Pay online securely by credit card, uh, print an invoice to mail a check, or if you have PayPal enabled, they would see a PayPal option as well. As an administrator, you can process checks or cash or various other things as well. Okay. We also have this non-member database that I mentioned, and I'll click, we only have one person in the non-member database right now, but again, we can filter in different ways. We can add people manually, or we can even import. If you get a list of people that you need to import into the non-member database, we can handle that for you as well. 
click on Bob and we get all of his contact information. We can edit his information. We can assign Bob to a category. He's a member of the local press in Trinidad, Colorado. So we can assign him to the press category. We also maintain a full transaction and payment history and event history. And you can convert non-members to members and you know, merge their information or delete someone if, if you know, they're no longer relevant to the organization. Now, when I go down to the setup section, let's have a quick look at member types. With Club Express, you can create whatever member types you need, including sustaining members and gold members and you know, two or three year memberships. These are the four basic member types that national supports ex with a slight change. National supports someone called an additional member. We handle household members, as I showed you earlier, a little bit differently. They're part of the primary membership, but we also have staff people. Some of your leagues and state organizations may actually have staff people who need to be able to log in with a special category. But again, you can create whatever categories you need, and we will map those automatically to the appropriate state and national member types. If I edit this, you can see that every member type has a name and a description and a duration and an availability. And here is how we handle people who are attached to a membership who have their own login name and password. And you can control those. And then down at the bottom is where you specify the fee that's appropriate. And when we go to the renewals and expiration settings, I love this screen. One of the things that's interesting about the partnership that we've established with LWV US is that over time, instead of having the, the financial year begin on July 1st, or some of you having memberships that begin on the calendar year on January the 1st, a lot of the leagues and the national organization that are using Club Express are switching to rolling renewals. So now you don't have to handle proration and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, PMP invoices that get done in January where there's an amount of money that you owe. You can do um, rolling renewals. And when it comes time for that member to renew, they will get a renewal notice. The system can be configured with up to three renewal notices. You customize when those get sent out and the emails themselves can be customized. And then you configure how the system should expire members who have not renewed. And the interesting thing about this page is you can, it takes two minutes to configure. And once you're done, Club Express will now handle all of your renewals and expirations for you, including the online payments. Let's keep going. And we just talked about the member types and the automated renewals and expirations. Now money, as I mentioned earlier, Club Express has built in the ability to handle transactions. Now, you know, 98% of the transactions that will go through the system will be donations, event registrations, and membership signups and renewals. There are some other types built in. So people create a transaction, they go to the payment page, they process the payment. Um, we can also handle credits for when an event is canceled and the user gets a credit that they can use against a future event or if you want to issue a refund, you can do that as well. Behind the scenes, everything is managed using proper accounting principles. Now, there is a merchant account built into Club Express. What would appear on people's statements would say LWV and the name of your, of your county or city where you're located. So it could say LWV Henderson CO, and uh, that's what would appear on people's statements. The funds then flow to us. And every 10 days on the 10th, the 20th, and the last day of the month, we would flow those funds directly into your bank account. And we can even flow them into different bank accounts. So for example, if you have a big convention or event every year, and it has its own bank account, we can flow the event registration for that event into that bank account. At the same time, the amount of the membership dues that go, belongs to the state, we can flow that into the state bank account automatically. And here's where it gets really interesting. The amount of money that belongs to the national organization, you know, $32 for an individual member, for example, that will flow automatically into the national bank account. 
Now the credit card processing fees, we do pass those through to you without marking them up, but they're deducted from each bank account. So if somebody pays by credit card, whatever the state organization gets, they pay the credit card fees on that portion. And whatever the national organization gets, they pay the credit card fees. The national pays those fees. You would only end up paying the fee credit card fees on the portion that the local league retains. You also have the option of having your own merchant account. But in that case, the funds would flow directly into that merchant account, basically every day. But then we can't distribute those funds for you. And my understanding from the national office is that they're ultimately going to switch to a model where once they detect that someone has signed up or renewed, they'll be generating automatically a monthly invoice. So they'll send you the monthly invoice and then you would pay those funds every month for people who've signed up or renewed. You also have the option of using PayPal and those funds would flow into your PayPal account. We do integrate with QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. Cub Express is not a full accounting system, so you can use QuickBooks for the accounting. There is a one-time additional fee of $100 to enable QuickBooks. For communications, we have a very powerful last emailing function built in. It supports templates, complex distribution lists, you know, drag and drop and different styles. You can track who opens, you can personalize the emails. And we're fully compliant with the anti-spam laws as well. We do bad email address handling for you. And we do also have a text messaging option, but there is an additional fee for that because we have to work through a third party company that has negotiated the interfaces with Verizon and AT&T and T-Mobile and Sprint, for example. So let me go to the communications and just give you a quick look at that. I'll go to emailing and click search. And here is a draft email that we created. So when I click the edit link for that, it brings me to the emailing and I can edit the basic information. And here I can see who the email is coming from. When are you sending it? What's the subject? Do you want to track who opens the email? Here is how I can manage distribution lists. So in this case, I have a distribution list that I've been building. I could expand that distribution list, for example, and go to members of a selected interest group. And now I select that one, healthcare reform, and I add that. I might also go to members in a selected category and select press and I can add that as well. So what you can see here is that we're building up a distribution list and we will dynamically, when we send out the email, find all of the people in these interest groups and in these mailing list categories at that moment in time. So you never have to worry about managing and updating separate lists. We're integrating here with all of the different pieces of Club Express to give you the most dynamic experience. And when it comes down to the email itself, we give you all of these elements that you can drag over. So I can select two column text and drag that in here. And then I can edit it. If it's an image, I can insert a photo or an image from the library. I can drag over links and social media links. I have templates that we've created, but you can also build your own email and then go down to the bottom here and save it as a template. You can save as you go, you can send tests, and when you click ready for delivery, the email will be sent out automatically for you. So those of you that are using a third party service like Constant Contact or MailChimp and managing those separate mailing lists, you don't have to worry about that anymore because we have the equivalent functionality built into Club Express. But even more importantly, it's built in and integrated with all of the other features of Club Express like committees, and interest groups and member categories and member types, things like that. So pricing, the basic setup fee is $150. And then we also have a number of setup pack options where there's certain things that we'll do for you. And this is a good time uh, actually to switch over to our main website. This is the main Club Express website. And if we go to pricing, you'll see that there's some tabs over on the left-hand side. Now the monthly hosting fee with this little calculator, you should ignore that because we have special pricing for the League of Women Voters. 
which I'll show you in a moment. But if we go to the one-time setup feed, here is the basic setup. And it includes us importing your member and non-member databases for you, and also full support during the setup process. If you were to pick something like a starter pack, it includes all of these things where our implementation team will configure your member types and your questions and the look and feel of your website and the homepage and the first five pages that you want and committees and interest groups and the event calendar and blast emails. And if you were to go, for example, with the Starter Pack Plus, instead of building five custom pages, we'll build the first 10 pages for you, everything in the Starter Pack and also two hours of training that's built in. And you can see some of these other options that are available as well, and you can expand them and look at them on your own. Now, there are also some extra cost options, entirely optional. Here is the panel that talks about credit card processing and what we charge for credit card processing and some you know, various other options as well. So this is the pricing page on our main website. But again, ignore the monthly hosting fee because here is what we charge for monthly hosting. It's basically 10 cents per active member per month with a minimum of $24. So really what that means is that if your local league has fewer than 240 members, you'll pay $24 per month. If you have more than 240 members, it starts to go up at the rate of, of 10 cents. And again, we talked about credit card processing fees, which we pass through. Now, what does that include? It includes website hosting. It includes the 22 plus modules that I mentioned, unlimited web pages, unlimited documents, unlimited photos and videos, unlimited traffic and blast emails. And as I mentioned earlier, unlimited toll-free support for admins and members. And of course, the databases that are built in, the member database, the non-member database, all of that is included. A quick mention about security, privacy, and ownership. The Club Express servers are hosted in a commercial data center that's highly secure with redundant backup services and live backups. All the confidential data is encrypted. Everything is done in secure mode. Most importantly, you own your data at all times. We will never sell, barter, trade, or share your member data in any way. And there's no advertising on your websites. And we are fully compliant with the strictest privacy laws, specifically the California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, and even the European GDPR, which is the strictest set of rules in the world. And most importantly, not only is Club Express compliant, but we make it so that you will be compliant as well. Now let's talk about how we do data and funds sharing. So let's assume you're a local league and the state office is also running on Club Express. So as a local league, as a chapter, you have your own website, your own member types, and you have your own database. The league model is that members belong to the local league. The state level organization has its own website. It might have a database of you know, members at large or staff members, but it also has a virtual database that includes your databases. And this includes both members and non-members, but most importantly, the state office only has read-only access. Now there's also a contact log function that's available, both at the state and the local levels. This one does have an additional one-time charge, but if the state purchases the contact log module, it's then available to all of the local leagues within the state. You can share events. So as a local league, if you post an event on your calendar, that event can also appear optionally on the state calendar. And if the state creates an event, they can check a box and that event will appear on all of the local leagues running on Club Express automatically. And when you click on the event, it goes to the appropriate website and allows you to see the details and register for that event. Committees can be shared. Members can actually log in to both websites. So let's say we're in Colorado and you're a member of the Boulder chapter, you log into the Boulder website. 
but the state is also running on Club Express. And so that member of Boulder can log into the state website as well so that she can participate in committees and discussion forums and register for events as a member. The state organization can also send out blast emailings to all of the members and non-members in the virtual database. So again, the local league controls those members, but the state has read-only access to communicate about state-level issues and state-level voter guides and things like that. And as I mentioned earlier, the state portion of the membership dues will be shared automatically. Now there's one level above that, and that's sharing at the national level. And I mentioned this earlier, when somebody joins or renews or updates their contact information, the national database will be updated automatically, but it's only basic member data, your name, your address, and your phone number and email address. It's the basic contact information. And of course, we're also sharing the national portion of membership dues. We do not share non-member information. I, I know from speaking to a lot of people that sharing donors is a, is a very sensitive issue. We are not sharing non-member contact information. We're not sharing local league finances or contact log entries or event registrations or the answers to additional data questions. None of that information is being shared with the national office. What I wanted to show you very quickly, here is our local league, and I'm gonna log out as Martha Smith. One of the questions that came up uh, yesterday fairly often is, how many leagues and how many state organizations are running on Club Express? Some of you may have heard that Colorado, the whole state organization and all of their local leagues are running on Club Express, and we're very proud that they were our launch and pilot customer, and they were the ones that helped introduce us to the national organization. So we're running that state plus 12 or 14 local leagues. We're already running uh, 10 or 12 other local leagues around the country. There's a couple in Florida, in Texas, in Arizona. We also have, I think, five or six that are in the process of getting set up in Connecticut and one uh, local league in California. And we're also talking to uh, a couple of state level organizations about bringing the whole state on board. I believe Indiana and Alabama, I think, are those states. So the folks in Colorado were very kind to let us agree to attaching our demo league to Colorado. And for example, I'm on the Colorado website right now. And if I click on local league membership, it brings up the chapter finder for Colorado. And here are all of the local leagues in Colorado. Here is our little fake league over here. Demo, not a real league. And when I click, I can see the details and I could jump over to the local league website. So this is something that's available at the state level organization. I'm going to log in to the state as Martha Smith with Martha's password. And I'm now logged in to the state organization as Martha, who is a member of the Trinidad, Colorado demo league that we have that I just showed you. And that demonstrates this level of integration that I mentioned. Okay. As we've been going along, I believe that Alan and Sam and Jim have been answering a lot of your questions, but let's throw it open. And Sam, if you have any questions that we should share with everyone, let's hear them now. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about the process of coming from another site and starting to use Club Express, what that onboarding process looks like, the setup time, things like that? Okay, great. So if you look up here in the address bar, you'll notice that the address of this website is lwvdemo.clubexpress.com. So whenever a, a, an organization starts with Club Express, they specify a short name and this gives you a way of accessing your website without affecting your current website. So you'll go through the process of configuring all of the modules, configuring the databases, building everything out, the homepage, the pages, uploading photos and creating photo albums, all of that stuff, whether you do it yourself or whether we help you. And that process can take anywhere from two or three weeks up to two or three months, depending on how many volunteers you have, how much help we're providing, what sort of resources you have available. 
And then of course, you know, the content from your old website, many organizations use this as an opportunity to clean it up and reorganize it. We can certainly help you move that content from your old website and the photos and the documents to the new site. Right towards the end of the process, there are four or five things that happen in fairly quick succession. One of them is that you'll send us your membership database, your non-member database, and we'll import those for you. Those members go in with a special status called bulk loaded. They can't log in, they're not notified in any way. You get a chance to review that data and make sure it's correct. Then we'll set up the merchant account and then you'll set up the domain name. So instead of pointing it to your old website, it now points to the new website. So now the old website is turned off. The new website is active. And then you give us the magic word and we send out a welcome email to all of your members. And that email, of course, can be customized. And we send out that email and the members get their temporary username and password. And that's when you're fully live. So those four or five activities happen sort of right in the last four or five days of the process. They happen fairly quickly and away you go. And there's a question about members being able to opt out of receiving BLAST emailings. So when a member opts out, are they able to opt out of, say, a state and national set of emails versus opting out of local emails only? Good question. So there are certain kinds of emails that you can't opt out from. So a renewal notice or an event registration confirmation or a payment confirmation, those are emails that specifically relate to your relationship with the local league. And so those cannot be turned off. You can opt out of general blast emails that come from the local league and the state, but we do not currently have a way of separating those. So, you, you know, if you wanted to say that I want to keep getting blast emails from the local league, but not get blast emails from the state, Unfortunately, we don't have a way of separating those. And national doesn't factor into this at all. A national has a separate database. If they send you a blast email about an issue that's become very important, voter suppression, for example, they would have their own opt-out provisions because it's a completely separate database. So certainly you could opt out of those emails by clicking a link at the bottom of, of that email specifically. But that's separate from Club Express. And will national communication materials like logos and graphics automatically be added to a local site? Yes, we've been working with national to create a standard template. Certainly, if you wanted to go beyond the standard template uh, and you know have a custom look and feel, we can support that. But national does wrongly request, encourage that, that we follow their brand guidelines in terms of colors and fonts and things like that. Um, but you know, within that, there's still a fair amount of flexibility. We do have access to national logos. So League of Women Voters with your city or county name immediately after that, we do have all of those logos available to us and we can add those to your website for you. And there were some questions about, are leagues able to sort of pick and choose the things that come with their website? Do some aspects cost extra? What's kind of included on the website that they would get? So I logged back in to our local league demo website again. Let me also go back to the slideshow. When we say that we include all of those things on the right, they're all there, but you certainly don't have to use them. So when I log in here, I can go to the control panel and I can see all of these 22 modules that I mentioned earlier. If you don't want to use discussion forums, don't enable it. If you don't want to use surveys, don't enable it. I mean, the survey module can be used to run your elections. So you enable the module, you configure it, you use it. And then when you're done, you turn it off again. All of these modules are there, um, but you don't have to use them. Similarly, for custom web pages, you can create as many pages as you want. If you need four or five pages on your website, that's fine. If you need 30 pages, you just create them. Same with photos and photo albums. Again, those are available at your discretion. Now, there are some functions that carry an additional fee. So, for example, we have 
a banner advertising module. If you want to enable that and put it on your website and then sell advertising, I don't know if the league allows that, but you know, if you wanted to and sell advertising to local businesses uh, to help raise funds, you certainly could do that. The idea behind all of these modules is that another club or association paid for us to build them. And so the idea is that other clubs and associations can use them, but we charge you a one-time fee and then we rebate a portion of that fee back to the original club that fronted the initial investment to use that module. So, you know, we have continuing education module. We have an e-learning module. We have an expense reimbursements module. Uh, we have a jobs board if you wanted to. I mean, all of these are available, but generally there are modules here like for yachting and sailing clubs. Well, you know, you're certainly not going to use that. So. And can you talk again about keeping an existing URL versus using a new URL? Well, I'm sure that many of your local leagues have your own domain name. So the domain name might be lwvphoenix.org. And when you first start with Club Express, your domain name is pointing to your current website, and that's where it stays. You build out your Club Express website, your database, your modules, all of that, you, you, know, you build that out. And right at the very end of the process, when you want to turn off your old website and switch over to Club Express, then you go to your domain registrar and you point the domain to our name servers instead of where it was pointed previously. We do a couple of manual things at our end. And then when somebody types in lwvphoenix.org, it now points to the new website. Now, we do have some customers, not necessarily leagues, that want to keep their existing website. So LWV Phoenix would point to their existing website. And you can do that with Club Express. You could make Club Express into the members plus admins website. And so what you might do is have another domain, lwvphoenixmembers.org. Or you just use the subdomain that I showed you earlier. And so you could have a button on your main website where you say members click here. It jumps to the other website. They have a similar look and feel, so the transition is as seamless as possible. Members log in, admins log in, they do their stuff. When they log out, we can send you back to the public website. So if you wanted to keep your existing public website, you could certainly do that, but very, very few people do. It's just much easier to you know, manage one website and one set of tools to maintain that website. Sam, I guess we maybe have time for one more question before we have to wrap up. Could you talk a little bit about e-learning? How many courses can be included and the one-time fee of $200 and what that includes? Okay, so the e-learning module, which is right here, and uh, I could even jump over to the online help system as well. I go to the extra cost features and I click on e-learning and there it is. Um, so you can learn all about the module there. Um, this was a module we wrote for a medical association and it allows you to create one or more certificates. Each certificate then has one or more videos that you watch in sequence, and then those videos are linked to a quiz, and you create the quiz. And so somebody watches the video, they then take the quiz, and you can designate the passing score for each quiz, and then they can go on to the next video and the next video, and however many you need. And once somebody has watched all, each video and passed each of the quizzes, the system will say you've earned the certificate and you know you create a certificate that then gets uploaded to the system and the member can then download that certificate now this is a fairly simple module we do have another one that's that's more powerful which is our continuing education module but this one was designed for a very large professional association it is way more complex I and mean, it's got a fairly significant learning curve where you can have multiple certificates and people are taking classes or writing books or giving lectures or doing, you know, mentoring for which they earn, you know, continuing education credits in that profession. And that one is, you know, a thousand dollars. And then we even have one that goes beyond that, which is the online professional development Institute that actually interfaces with an online LMS a learning management system to take 10 week courses with, lecturers and assignments and tests and group discussions. And, and that's, that's a whole other ball game, 
also designed for a very large professional association. I, I don't expect many local leagues will be using either of these two modules. But the e-learning module is a very nice one that's certainly available to you. Okay. First of all, as we wrap up, I wanted to thank everybody for their time and listening in. I hope we've shown you something that you found interesting and of value. If you have follow-up questions or want to see a more detailed demo or want to talk about setting up a free trial, call the office and speak to Jim Mishke, who again is our account manager who handles the League of Women Voters um, individual chapters and state organizations. And then finally, I hope everyone has a, a wonderful and very successful annual convention. We'll be sitting in as observers. It's a very interesting year, certainly for the voting process and the upcoming elections. So should be a, should be a lot of excitement and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you.